wanted to know the story of Fitzcarraldo. He crossed an isthmus from one river system into another uh, with a boat. And with the help of uh, 1,100 savage Indians, he moves the boat across uh, this mountain ridge. This slope here is no, no joke at all. It's a pequeño chiquito. If I abandon this project, I would be a man without dreams, and I don't want to live like that. I, I, I live my life or I end my life with this project. We are challenging nature itself, and it hits back. It just hits back, that's all, and that's grandiose about it, and we have to, to accept that it is much stronger than we are. Kinski always says it's full of erotic elements. I don't see it so much erotic, I see it more full of obscenity. It's just, and nature here is vile and base. I wouldn't see it. Anything erotical here, I would see fornication and asphyxiation and choking and fighting for survival and growing and just rotting away. Of course, there's a lot of misery, but it is the same misery that is all around us. The trees here are in misery and the birds are in misery. I don't think they, they sing, they just screech in pain. It's an unfinished country. It's still prehistorical. The only thing that is lacking is, is the dinosaurs here. It's like a curse weighing on an entire landscape. And whoever goes too deep into this has his share of that curse. So we are cursed with what we are doing here. It's a land that God, if he exists, has, has created in anger. It's the only land where, where creation is unfinished yet. Taking a close look at, at what's around us, there, there is some sort of a harmony. It is the harmony of overwhelming and collective murder. And we, in comparison to the articulate vileness and baseness and obscenity of all this jungle, uh, we, in comparison to that enormous articulation, we only sound and look like badly pronounced and half-finished sentences out of a stupid suburban novel, a cheap novel. And we have to become humble in front of this overwhelming misery and overwhelming fornication, overwhelming growth and overwhelming lack of order. Even the, the stars up here in the, in the sky look like a mess. There is no harmony in the universe. We have to get acquainted to this idea that there is no real harmony as we have conceived it. But when I say this, I say this all full of admiration for the jungle. It is not that I hate it, I love it. I love it very much but I love it against my better judgment. I'm 
I shouldn't make movies anymore. I should go to a lunatic asylum <laughs> right away. But I don't know, it's... Uh, very much of it is, is too crazy and too... Uh, just not, not what a man should do in his life all the time. And I feel... Uh, what if, even if I get that boat over the mountain and somehow I finish that film, anyone can congratulate me and talk me into finding it marvelous. I, nobody on this earth will convince me to be happy about all that. Not, not until the end of my days. It's not only my dreams. My belief is that all these dreams are, are yours as well. And the only distinction between me and you is that I can articulate them. And that is what poetry or painting or literature or filmmaking is all about. It's as simple as that. And I, I make films because I have not learned anything else. And I know I can do it to a certain degree. <laughs> and it is my duty because this uh, might be the, the inner chronicle of what we are. And we have to articulate ourselves, otherwise we would be cows in the field. <laughs>